Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another Rise of Mordor battle for you today and this is an excellent siege battle with a, two, a 2v2 between the Eastlings and the Wooden Realm and Erebor and the Dunlingdon tribes and it's definitely worth checking around to see what happens in this one as a Sally goes out by the Varag Lancers here to go out to face the Dwarves and the Dunlingdon uh, Dunland uh, tribes. I, don't, I just can't speak today it seems, I just can't pronounce Dunland. But uh, if you're enjoying the content at the moment on the channel, I would like to see more Rise of Mordor, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the battle. So, as uh, these cavalry go out here, the Varag Lancers go out, they're going to be going down to face these escort mercenaries here, sent by Erebor. And there's a clash of the cavalry, and I mean, I want to say that the spear cavalry should win but I'm not really sure I mean they're certainly more expensive than the escort mercenaries but these escort mercenaries are probably decent in combat they are melee cavalry I mean they only lost one in the charge there Barry glances have lost a few already um, so I mean maybe they won't these heavy spears maybe a uh, spear cab won't do better than the uh, melee cab but I would be surprised but there is infantry coming over the spear guards are variable coming over so they might need to be careful with that cavalry they might want to try and get it out at some point. I mean, it also looks, sounds like there's some stuff coming in from here. Erebor Axe Warriors over here, they were hidden over here. So they were with Dunland over here, which is kind of an interesting decision to have some troops there. But I mean, clearly he doesn't trust his Dunland ally. And uh, the escort mercenaries are now, well, they won the battle kind of. I mean, they've scared off these Varag Lancers. Oh, some nice volleys here going off against the uh, Varag Lancers. I mean, they're gonna get out alive just about. And here goes, one of the Varag Lancers is going in deep, and it's going to go after the artillery, you imagine, for Dunland here. So, I mean, yeah, this artillery, unknown to what's going on. I mean, Dunland's barely even attacked, and there you go. Through all the forest and the mess in here. I mean, they're going to be trapped now. They're going to cut down a lot of these uh, Dunland troops. And then they carry on, but I don't think they're going to get anywhere else now, really. Yeah, they're getting stuck by all the escort mercenaries and... The artillery, I mean, they sort of got to the front lines over here. They're going to fight the Dunland troops, but that's not really what they're there for. But uh, they have, in fact, they're going to die, but they have, in fact, allowed their other carry force to get out alive. And that's a shame, because that, those very glances cost a lot of money. So, I mean, the defenders might want to do a little bit better with them. Um, but, I mean, they're pretty well set up for this final, defen final defense. I mean, it's not really a final defense, but defense over here. Um, I mean, we've got like a Varric Bowman, Loki Rim, we've got Loki Rim Maceman. Obviously, if you've know, seen a fair few of the uh, Rise of Mortal Battles, you know what uh, these things are going to bring. And it's going to be a lot of Loki Rim. Uh, they're a good unit. And one of their only sword units, so of course they're going to bring them. Uh, certainly one of the factions I feel I could do with maybe one or two more units. Maybe some lower tier stuff. But uh, I mean, yeah, these guys look, as always, look glorious with their armor. And their shields and just everything looks amazing. I mean, look at the maces down there. Looks just deadly. Deadly, I tell you. But, I mean, there are some traps waiting for the uh, for the forces that come off the walls. I mean, there are some traps just here. Can't really see. Uh, but, yeah, the, the, there's just, like, traps here. So, I mean, every time that the uh, dwarves come off the wall, a few more men of them are going to die. And, uh, well, we made that mistake already over here. They kind of activated these traps already did uh, the cavalry when they spawned, so they uh, ended up killing a few of their own troops, which certainly isn't a good start to the battle. Uh, but these things happen. You win some, you lose some. And it looks like Erebor is going to already be attacking over here against uh, the Woodland Realm. We're going to have the Elves versus the Dwarves. The rivalry continues, and here they come. The Erebor Axe Warriors onto the wall, and they're going to go off the wall and probably going to go and attack the last Garland Blades down here. But uh, Erebor is really stretching himself. He's really stretching himself to help the Dunland forces out. He's all the way around here as well. Like Dunland needs to uh, take some responsibility, do his own actions. But uh, yeah, this cavalry over here charged again, and it got some nasty charges on these uh, elder spearmen here. Some really nice charges. Killed over 50 of them in one charge. Um, and then this one also got about 50 odd men as well. So that's really good. That's some good kills there. And then, uh, oh god, the war dogs have been released. I feel like they, I think they were released early when the, the first Varric uh, unit came in, but yeah, these uh, wolves are now, 
got activated. So I think uh, when the cavalry comes back, it could be in for a bit of surprise what's going to go, what's going to happen there. Um, but yeah, I mean, we'll watch this charge. This could be quite funny. A battle between the wolves and the horses. Who will win? I'd expect the wolves to win, but cavalry probably would run down dogs if forced to. And here they come, here they come. I can hear the horses. <laughs> just the dogs get stopped in their tracks. They're just kind of like, nope, denied. How many of them died? Oh, a good portion. A lot of them did die, actually. I mean, they're taking a few horsemen with them, I think. But the cavalry carries on. It doesn't really mind about the. Yeah, I think they. Imagine being a horseman and dying to a dog. Come on, you can. Uh, you can do better than that. And they're gonna charge again into the cavalry. I think this might be the final charge. So we'll uh, we'll watch the final glorious charge. As they come through the forest. Yeah, you should not charge forward like this. The, in the spears are charging forward. They really should not do this. Because that's what happens when you charge forward with spears. These are elder spears. They're a really good spear unit. Just make them form uh, make them form spear wall. They'll do a lot better than they would marching forward like that. They are now destroyed, is that unit. 60 uh, troops left. I yeah, and look at that. Broken. It should have just stopped. And, uh, yeah, the cavalry's now going on into uh, the Dunherd Archers. And, I mean, and that's going to be it. It's just going in and it's going to just get itself killed. It's causing a lot of havoc, though, in these back lines for the Dunland forces. But uh, as that's been going on, the assault on the walls has just about begun. Looks like we're going to have some Erebor Axe Warriors coming down here. They're going to have to face Hall Guardians and Las Garland Blades, though. And, uh, well, I mean, here's the first clash over here. we got some uh, Loki Rim facing down... Some axe warriors of Erebor. I can hear towers getting destroyed. Oh, they captured the uh, gates. So, and look at that, they lost two units, like, with so much, like, these were full units, and they've lost so much, like, health. So I always try and risk only sending one unit through the, uh, the gate, and you've got to just spam and get it off. Or just get it on the walls, and then, uh, get off the walls somewhere else. But yes, yeah, so that is really unfortunate. Um, but they are going to be able to charge into the side of these Loki Rim, who are sort of, like, showing themselves their uh, flank here. And here they come, here comes the charge from the depleted Axe Warriors. And they're going to go into the flank. And they're going to start biting the ankles of all these uh, Loki Rim. Imagine being killed by a dwarf as well, that's pretty, uh, a little bit embarrassing because they're so small. But they are hardy warriors. And I think the clash on this side has begun as well. I think this is Dunlun now facing off against... Uh, the Wooden Realm, and he shouldn't search, don't need to send in this many units. One unit will do to fight uh, these Last Garland Blades, because you don't want to cause blobbing, because then the uh, Wooden Realm is going to use his bows to just focus you down. So yeah, yeah, this uh, area here, this is just a kill zone. I mean, this is going to be so easy for the uh, Lords of Last Garland. Which the Lords of Last Garland are so well upgraded. They've got like two silver chevrons. And yeah, look at this. This is just causing absolute... This is not good. You better just like getting troops on the wall here and then flanking around. Like, you don't need to obey by the... Uh, like, where the enemy is. You just go attack where the enemy isn't. Is always a good idea. Uh, especially in Total War. But yes, definitely... If you're new to Rise of Mordor, or just any Total War, blobbing is never a good idea. Like, this is severe blobbing. I mean, the Wooden Realm will take full advantage of it, I'm sure. Their, their archers are pretty damn good. And all these wolves that died for the, uh, well, for armoring these men are going to have to, well, they're going to have to sort of die again, I guess. And yeah, you can see uh, Dunland here is going to try that. He's going to come off this wall here and attack these last Island Blades here. I mean, that's a really good idea. At least he's being versatile and he's going to flank around. But he should have more of his troops here do exactly the same thing. He also probably should go and attack down here. 
Like, why attack on this one front? It's not, it's like, it's causing, he's taking four units to break that one unit. Well, not even break it, like, kill it off. And it's still not even killing it. They're doing okay. And the Woodland Realm can just send more over there. And it looks like the Woodland Realm's going to go up and fight on the walls. He's not going to wait for Dunland. Uh, you can see the elves are coming up onto the wall. And they're going to fight those wolfy boys up on the wall. I mean, Dunland's still got a lot of troops remaining. But he needs to uh, utilize his remaining troops a little bit better than this, possibly. But back on this side, I mean, it looks like Erebor is also now firing his artillery that he's brought. And he's uh, focus focusing down, like, um, Hall Guardians, I want to say. He's also focusing down archers. I mean, that's not a bad idea. Over here, it looks like the dwarves have forced back the Loki Rim. They're now fighting over some sharp stones. Which don't look very sharp, in my opinion. And they also look like they're getting ready to fight around here. As like my like voice breaks their cheese. Um, of course, you can't have a video without a voice break. But I mean, yeah, these uh, these uh, dwarves here should win this fight slowly. I mean, the Loki Rim are in shield wall. So, I mean, that should be... That should hold the line for a while. Maybe the order needs to be given to actually all attack. That might help a little bit as well. But uh, all they need to do is hold up the uh, forces and just let them uh, shoot whatever comes near them. All these archers, these Varag and Loki Rim, they'll just shoot whatever. Did I bring two units of Loki Rim? I did, in fact, bring two units of Loki Rim. Wow. Should have brought three Varags and uh, one Loki Rim. Varag archers are so much better. Their missile block is very, very good with their shields on their backs. Looks like we're going to be attacked around here now by Grim Hammers. So this will be a good charge here. The Grim Hammers, there they are. All bloodied up already. Already been shot quite a lot. And they destroyed a wagon when they went past. That's how strong they are. <laughs> um, but yeah, so there you go. The Grim Hammers charging in. They are going to fight these low-key Rim to the death. I mean, they're getting focused down now with archers. I mean, it's a good target to go for. They're a shock infantry unit. Very poor armor. Uh, well, arrow uh, missile block, sorry. Well, they've got good armor, just poor missile block, so it kind of counteracts. And yeah, I mean, they're, look at the amount of blood already on the floor. And that's mainly from the, the dwarves, not from the Loki Rim. But as that's been gone, and finally, I think this is Dunland here attacking. Yeah, and this is Erebor as well. Erebor is still attacking here. Dunland needs to pull his weight, really. He needs to stop attacking this one choke point here. Uh, when he... Like, Erebor's attacking on all fronts here. Oh, I can saw the arrows coming overhead. And here they come. They're going to come landing in. Shields up, Dwarven Brothers. And now Dunland is joining. We've got some Dunher uh, swords coming in. But I mean, look, yeah, look at this. All these Dunherd swords over here. Most of them losing decisively. Because, I mean, the, I mean, the whole Guardians are in here now, which in fairness is helping. But they need to be careful. And the Elven King's outside. Oh, no. The Elven King has sallied out. And he's going to charge these Dunherd uh, bows. And he's going to do a lot of damage here. You imagine. Oh, my gosh. This could be interesting. I mean, look at these guys. These guys are nasty. One of the strongest units in the game, if not the strongest. And uh, they are going to cause a lot of damage here. I mean, they killed. They must have killed at least a good, a good portion there. Yeah, 109 and 111. They killed a good like 100 or so in that sort of charge. I, don't, I think they were fairly fresh. Yeah, you can see there's about there's a good amount of dead down there. And they didn't lose a single man. Oh, and they're going to charge into yeah again here. Like um, Dunland is charging at the cavalry. He needs to stop charging at the cavalry and just brace. Got to just brace. You're going to get hit by the cavalry. You're going to lose men. You better, but you're better losing just a, a few less men by standing your ground rather than charging. Charging into the cavalry is the worst thing you could possibly do. I've learned the hard way myself. Um, but yes, it's never a good idea. Now I mean, he's going after the general now. This could be a good charge here. 
Yeah, I mean, that, those Blood Avengers uh, did not stand a chance standing for it, and they literally trampled the entire unit. Look at that, that was a full unit, it's down to uh, 42 in that small amount of time, and they're going after the artillery here. I mean, that's not a bad target at all, but yeah, I mean, these cav this cavalry here is going absolutely ham, and it will continue to do so. But as that's been going on, let's have a look and see how the uh, battle is shaping up. I mean, it's still very even. The bounce power, I mean, numbers are in favor of the defenders, but the dwarves are a very, very strong faction. And can certainly do this stuff. I don't know why they got the cavalry pinned around here. They can certainly get the cavalry and get it around this corner here. And go and attack the dwarves. Uh, not the dwarves. The um, Loki rim here. I mean they are piling and everything. I mean these archers going in. I think this was a misclick. Archers going in into combat. I think they're trying to shoot stuff up on the wall or something like that. Who knows. I mean you can see here. The uh, general has been committed for the dwarves already. The grim hammers are in here. And this is turning into a mess in this choke point here. So many elves, uh, not elves, dwarves and uh, Loki room have died here, or Eastlings. And we've got more shock infantry coming up. And they're surrounding them in fairness. I mean, look at this. This is dangerous for the dwarves. They need to be careful. Oh, they got an artillery piece. Oh, no. That's going to be nasty. Oh, that's a great hit. That's a great hit. I mean, that one... Yeah, I'd say again, Eclipse fairly good, but I mean, they need to get more hits like that to the Dwarves. That is a really, really nice shot. I mean, these Loki Rim need to go into combat. They need to surround the uh, Dwarf in general. He's winning right now. Need to be careful. I mean, there you go. I mean, they're getting, he's getting overwhelmed now, sort of. I mean, there's more shock infantry in here. Oh, I think a general just died. Oh, it's the uh, Blood Avengers out here, of course, yeah. The Elven King's still going, like, absolutely ham. He's got a lot of chevrons. I don't know if he's actually gained all these, or if he had quite a few to start with. He may have already had quite a few to start with. Um, but, yeah, he has destroyed a lot of stuff. I mean, these were full units of shock infantry, and they're getting killed because they just keep charging uh, like into the horses. I think they have the brace ability, most shock... In I don't know, actually. They might might be getting mistaken with 12-12. Um, but, yeah, they really need to just... Hold their ground and just try not to do like anything stupid, like charging into cavalry. We've got the Loki Rim that was down on the ground here, is now going up to deal with the uh, crossbows up here. These crossbows are probably going to die. I mean, they they do okay in combat if they were supported by more crossbows, like shooting these Loki Rim in the back. The crossbows might win, but uh, I don't think they will. I mean, look at these guys looking the other way. They're like, if I just don't look at the Eastlings, then they're not there. They're not real. And the Eastlings are like, come here, you little scum. Done enough damage already today. But yeah, the Dwarven General is still fighting on hard. 20 men left. But he's very much outnumbered by all these Varag uh, warriors in here. As that man gets cut down. Poor Dwarf. It's cut down. Oh. And he got shot. And look at them. They're all so happy with themselves. Like, yes, we killed some dwarves. And uh, I think that the dwarven general is still alive. Yeah, he's still alive. General nearby. He's down to the last nine men, though. The dwarven general. I mean, that might be him there. He's fighting to the last man. No. Maybe it wasn't because he, he's just died. Um, but he's in there somewhere. I mean, they're still taking a few. Look at, like, the bodies in that area, though. It's disgusting. And uh, eventually, it looks like the elves have won mostly on the Dunland side here. But look how many, uh, look how many Dunland uh, the troops they killed here. There's so many, and it's all because of those archers, really. Those archers did so much damage. And uh, I mean, there's a few arable troops around here still. I mean, they're actually fighting Varric bowmen here. Are uh, uh, some axe warriors here? They're fighting the bowmen who are still. They, they don't even care. They're just. Shooting over the top, they're like, yep, don't mind us. And, uh, I mean, here we go. The final, like, sort of engagement with with uh, Dunland here. Dunland's kind of almost off the map already. We've got some Hall Guardians, Las Garland Blades. Facing off against the men of Dunland and the Dwarves. An interesting alliance, I won't lie, but... Uh, one that certainly didn't poo uh, prove worthy. Dunland uh, had a hard time.
And what have we got here? We've got more Hall Guardians. Oh, this is going to be painful. A Hall Guardian rear charge. I couldn't think of anything worse if you were on the receiving end. Are they, if, well, that's if they charge. They may not even charge. No, they're just quite happy to stand there. Oh, I wanted to see a rear charge. Here we go. Here we go. These men bloodied already from combat. Oh, no. The Dunlans is just going to run away. They're like, I'd rather run through all the, the elves in front of us than get charged down by these uh, Hall Guardians. And there you go. I mean, they're going in there, but I mean, these guys are fully routed. And now it's just kind of down to Erebor, who's really just duking it out in this uh, choke point over here. We've got the uh, Varag Warriors are going to come through and fight it out. We've got Loki Rim here. I, it's just glorious. When you see the Loki Rim form shield wall, I think it just looks amazing. They're one of the best looking units by far. And there you go. It's just the Spear Guard holding the line now. The Spear Guards of Erebor. Can they do their bit? And I mean, I feel like it's uh, almost over on this side. I mean, you can see here, like, all the Loki Rim. Like, this is a lot of Loki Rim still knocking around here. And they are uh, just facing off against... They're facing off against one unit of Spear Guards. And they're going to try... Oh, they should not have fallen back, those Spear Guards. They lost so many men from that. Oh, God. The massacre of the front line of the dwarves there. How you stab a man with a mace, I have no idea. But he did it. And yeah, they're chasing down these spear guard. They're probably going to break because of that. And uh, I mean, look at this. This rig. Oh no, the Erebor Axe Warriors didn't run away. They were just going to defend the rear. And we've got some last Garland Blades. We've got some... They were sort of pulling through. They should not be pulling through at this point. The battle is... It's almost over. But yes, I mean, finally you can see these things and uh, the elves actually fight together. It's kind of weird to see them, but fair enough. I just look, love getting close-ups of this. It looks so glorious. Such a gorgeous mod. And over here, you can see there. I mean, it's a close sandwich now between the dwarves. And they're just like, oh, God. It's death either way. And there you go. A close victory. The dwarves broke. Uh, so, yeah, we'll end the replay and have a look at the end results. Um, but, yeah, well played to the defenders, uh, to the attackers. They did very, very well. And to the defenders... Uh, even if I was playing as one of them. But well done to uh, Aiden, who was playing as the Woodland Realm. But uh, yes, so I was playing as the Eastlings. Um, my general getting 153 kills. I did eventually send him outside to also go and join in the uh, the fun that was going on with the Elven King. But I didn't really show it because it was kind of all, already all over out there. My Loki Rim, none of them did amazing. The best one got 101. I think most of them just either like got killed by uh, crossbows or... Um, by Grim Hammers. They just seem to get like overwhelmed by the uh, Dwarven infantry. But luckily, I wasn't facing the entire Dwarven army. Um, so, there's that bit of luck I had. Um, my Varag Warriors, not doing so well. They are the cheaper version of the shock, like, shock infantry that uh, the Eastlings have available to them. But they did pretty damn well, uh, getting 74 kills, two of the units. Uh, my Loki Rim March is 61, uh, 67 kills, which is okay. My Varag Bowman getting 128, which is not bad at all. And my best unit actually did on the battlefield was one of my Varig Lances, getting 214 kills. I think it was that second one. It was running down so many spears and did so really uh, well. So well done to them. And then Aiden, who was playing as the Wooden Realm, his general getting 640 kills. Jeez. Um, his last Garland Blades getting 184, which is pretty solid. Quite a few others getting into the hundreds. His uh, Hall Guardians getting 364. Uh, another one getting 204. And his uh, Arch is at 120. And a hundred uh, for his last gallon archers, and his lords last gallon getting 101. So he did very, very well. But he was facing a much larger force, I would possibly say. He was facing a fair amount of Erebor and all of Dunland. So I mean, he had more kills up for grabs. And certainly, if he's going to have like an elite unit like the Elven King running down inside like that, you can't complain. And then we have Anzac, who was playing as uh, 
the Dunlanding tribes, and uh, his Blood Avengers got like no kills because they just kept charging into cavalry, which is never a very good idea. His uh, swords again not doing so well because a lot of them were blobbing, and uh, I think he's quite new to the mod, but even still, like it's just total war. Uh, you should just not blob. Uh, it makes it nice and easy for archers, especially when you're facing the elves, who are obviously known for their archers. Um, but yeah, and then his uh, spears just got charged down, and his archers again also got charged down. His cav uh, and his wolf tamers here getting 30 kills, which actually may be one of his best kills, which is a little bit dis disappointing. Um, but yeah, so a learning curve for Anzac, possibly, new to uh, Rise Mordor, but at least he'll learn the hard way uh, what he's got to do in uh, future battles. Then Dodgy Gob, who was playing in Zerubal, had a much more uh, successful assault, but uh, he uh, still, again, was on the losing side. Um, Grimhammer is getting 216 kills, a solid amount of kills for Grimhammer, so you expect no less from them. His uh, Axe Warriors, I'm kind of surprised, he spammed them out and did not get that many kills. The best one getting 74, I think, but he did lose a few, unfortunately, that were like uh, to the towers when they got destroyed, which may have changed the battle. It may have made it a little closer, who knows. Um, another one of his Grimhammers getting 210, which is pretty solid. His uh, Spear Guards variable only getting 24 kills, but they are Spears, not great on the Assault. His uh, Crossbow's getting 108 kills, which is pretty solid for them, and his uh, Escort Mercenary's getting 45 kills, which is not too shabby. So, uh, also I'd like to just say that Dodgy Gob does have a YouTube channel of his own. He does Total War on the channel, um, so I'll leave a link to that in the description if you want to go and check that out, uh, and go and subscribe to him. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed, guys, then do... Uh, not forget to leave a like here and a subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you'd like to see more Rise of Mordor, let me know in the comments and also by subbing. Uh, and until next time, Legionnaires, I will see you in the next one.